You know what, guys? I don't want to tell you that I told you so. I don't want to be right, okay? I want to be proven wrong in certain situations. But, kind of, I told you so. Remember a couple of weeks ago, I made a video asking you guys, should we trust Marina Granovskaya and Bruce Buck for our future? Black and white is there. It's on the record. I don't flip-flop. And that is the reason why I don't care about insult from the kids online who don't understand common sense. Because sooner or later, I'm going to be right. 99.9% .9 of the time, I am right. Because why? Because I use a lot of common sense. Simple common sense. And today, people don't want to use common sense anymore. They want to go to speculations. They want to go on somebody's Twitter account just because he's popular. We copy and paste and, and, and take them as gospel. But, and this is what is keeping me doing what I'm doing, sacrificing my time, my money to make content, different content in the community because I'm sick and tired of copy, paste, same old, same old popular opinion without any context or without any common sense. So, guys, some news from... The Times magazine here in the U.S. just reported what I was saying a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to put the video at the, at the end of this video. Video, video. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say? To prove to you that I said it long before even it came to the media. I said it. Okay. You know, if I know how to manipulate people, I could be a very good source. Because it's not, it's not that hard to be a source. <laughs> uh, you have just to know how to manipulate people. Because, listen, me, every single day, I kind of know exactly what the newspapers are going to say the next day. Based on the situation, based on everything that is happening, it's so easy to manipulate people. And when you have those kids online, 15, 16, 12 years old, that's what they want to hear. So if you, you know just how to manipulate them, literally know how to lie to them, and then you're going to be popular and you're going to be a source and you're going to have thousands and thousands and even millions of people following you. But you know what, my friend? I am not going to sell my soul for money. It's not going to happen. I'm going to just tell the truth. You like it or not so basically bruce buck uh you know uh, the ricket family they contacted him immediately to try to arrange uh a meeting with uh, this guy here uh paul uh canoville right an ex chelsea player the first black person to play for chelsea football club so <clears throat> they can convince him so they can sell their project to Chelsea fans. Hey, look at me. This black man is supporting me. I'm not racist. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hear all those kind of excuses every day when people want to deny that they are not racist. They're going to tell you, oh, I have, a, I have a black friend, you know. <laughs> My friend is black and we go to parties every week. So I'm not racist. Anyways, people, so this guy here, and I made a video saying, should we trust him? Yes or not? So, this guy is a greedy guy. He's behind the Super League. Remember? Month or a year almost ago, when he came up with a stupid Super League, and after that denied, oh no, we rushed because uh, it was the last minute we accepted the last minute it doesn't matter if you accepted the, the first day or the last day you wanted just to make money for yourself you are greedy you are looking for your own interest and not the interest of the club or chelsea or chelsea fans he's behind that 
he's behind a lot of a lot of sucking like Ancelotti, Lampard, and and all that. You know the behavior from this guy is just evil sometimes. You Mourinho, not patient at all. He's he's one of the guys that makes decisions there to suck managers that deserve time to walk. He's behind the dead wood that we have in the club. Remember, you drink water, you Ross Barkley, you Zappa Costa. The manager is going to ask him for, for a player. He's going to impose his own player. Why? Because he got commissions. What people don't understand is these kind of people, they work with agent. Okay? Have you noticed that there are certain teams who always deal with one or two agents? They don't want to go to somebody else, even if they have good players. They, they tend to stuck with one or two agents. You know why? Because they got money behind it. Offshore, accountant, whatever. They're going to transfer some money. You got your commission. So these people are working for themselves, not for the club. Okay, so all the dead wood that you see. How the hell are you going to sign Lukaku and give him like 350k a week? Something ridiculous like that. And Thomas Tuko is asking for Haaland or uh, Vlahovic or somebody else to work for his system. Why do you have to go to buy somebody else, else instead of backing the manager? Because of interest, because of commissions from agent. People don't understand that. So this guy got a pattern of behaviors like that that I don't like. I've been making a lot of videos about him and even Marina. I'm going to come back to Marina at some point, but Marina is kind of, she can't do any wrong, right? Because she brings us big names. She's awesome. But if you dig deep into what she's doing and how many money we lost because of her, but... <sighs> It is what the people don't want to think. They don't want proof. They don't want context. They don't want to hear anything. If there is a narrative of about somebody, oh, yeah, because she's a woman, she's beautiful, or she's the queen, we go with, uh, with uh, the flow, you know? We jump into the, the bandwagon. We start talking nonsense. We don't know anything because we don't want to think outside the box. You know what I mean? So this is the guy. Bruce Buck is going to make decisions for Chelsea Football Club. And man, can you see the corruption there? Just tell me what the difference between this and, uh, and other people, other, other corrupt people around the world. Tell me if there is any difference here, my friends. So let me just read very quickly here. Okay. So the Times, okay, the Times say, um, However, when the Rickett family realized, okay, there was opposition, uh, opposition to their bid among Chelsea fans because of Islamof uh, Islamophobic remark that uh, Joe, who is the dad, made toward, you know, uh, uh, is, uh, from, from Islam and also black people, Tom Rickett. Joe's son, he contacted Bruce Buck, okay, to broker a meeting with Canovel, the club first black player. Wow, this is huge. If you don't realize how this is huge, you don't see it, okay? So he arranged, hey, Bruce, my man. Can you arrange the meeting with that black guy so I can buy him, I can buy his soul? And probably, uh, Canoville doesn't have even money at the moment because back in the day, he couldn't even afford to fix his teeth. You will see the majority of the pictures when he played for Chelsea, he was missing a teeth. That means he was living in minimum wage. Like back in the day, they were not paid this kind of amount of money that they are getting today so the guy might be not rich at all and you know any money that you can offer so he can he can promote you he's for it <clears throat> so my people if you read here <coughs> yeah this is uh, the corrupt system here and people are not happy you can go here and read yourself 
people are not happy at all about what Bruce Buck is doing. And we're going to talk about Marina Granovskaya in another video because this is going to be very, very long video. So let me go and show you what I said. Remember this one, right? This post here was uh, from, uh, you can see the date here, uh, that I say, uh, say no to, to the ricket. And also, can we really trust Marina and Bruce Buck? I ask you the question. Can we trust them when we know that those people are corrupt and they are working for their own interest? Do you think they care about us? They care about keeping their jobs. If the ricket by the, the, the club, Bruce is going to stay there. His salary is going to increase. He's going to have even more power. So do you think that he's going to care about you fan sitting from somewhere in the middle of the jungle in Kentucky? He doesn't care about you. He just cares about his freaking money and his family. You know what I mean? So I made this video. Let me show you. Do we really trust Marina Granovskaya and Bruce Buck? Hmm. This is the question that we're going to try to answer in this video. Hi, my name is Oaks. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, people. In case you've been living under a big rock, you might know by now that uh, we are in the process of getting a new owner. And apparently, Bruce Buck and Marina Granovskaya are going to have the last word. So our future, the Chelsea Football Club future, is in their hand. But that is questionable, and that's why I said apparently, because some other versions are going to tell you the government to decide at the end. So you don't know even what to trust. But let's just go with uh, Marina and Bax to decide, all right? These are the guys who put us in the Super League. Remember? Super League, Chelsea Football Club apparently accepted the Super League the last minute and all the manifestations. And Remember that, right? It was because of Bruce and Marina decided to make a business decisions very, very quickly and put us in big, big trouble. All right? So, uh... Okay, guys, so you can go on the Green Turf YouTube channel and confirm what I've just said, just to show you, but I am always right. <laughs> I said it, and it's happening right now. This guy is not good for Chelsea Football Club. The new owner, hopefully it's going to be Boily or another mystery guy from Saudi or from somewhere. When all this done and dusted, suck Bruce Buck, the first person to sack a Chelsea football club is this guy because we can't continue living with a corrupt guy like this. Leave your comment and let's keep, let keep the conversation going. I can't even speak. Golly.